2001 Monte Carlo. Uh, doing a little quick project today. Uh, been seeing a couple of videos of people with alternated going up to 15 volts, 16 volts, 18 volts. And some people have problems with their stock alternator, only giving them 12 volts. 12.5, 12.8, you know, under 13 volts of charging while running idle. And between idle, which is somewhere around 700 RPMs, to, you know, driving idle speed, which is about 12 to 1500 RPMs. And they still only get 12.8.9 volts. I might have a high output alternator right here. And this is a 220 amp alternator. I just took it out of my car. And this is my stock one right here, which is a remanufactured. Um, what I'm going to do is, I've been looking up things online and studying things. And basically, most people say it's a diode. A diode is basically what you put on the, the 12 volt line that excites the. Uh, uh, alternator to believe in that the low vo voltage is low below 12.8 or 13 point whatever and it'll up the voltage so I went to Radio Shack and got a rectifier diode comes two in a pack what I'm going to do is I'm going to wire them in parallel this is one of them right here I'm going to wire these in parallel to the harness that goes into my alternator. Uh, I had to wrap this up with a rag so that the positive doesn't hit any ground or whatnot. But my harness right here, um, uh, this wire is what excites the alternator. This wire lets the alternator know that, hey, I need more voltage, give me some more. So I'm going to wire this in parallel with the, with the other one that I have. It's two in the pack. And hopefully my voltage goes up from 13.7 to about 14.1 or 14.2, maybe 14.6. Um, I don't 100% understand this calculation thing of how, you know, diodes increases the voltage with the amount of negative resistance that you put on the excite wire. All that shit. It's, it's very technical. But... Uh, I'm trying to work on it right now, and I'm not going to use my 220 amp alternator. I'm going to use my stock alternator. That's why I brought it out today, and hopefully things work out. So, before I was getting 13.7 while the car got hot and whatnot, and hopefully by the time I'm done with this installation and with these di two diodes uh, integrated into the harness. To the excite wire right here. Uh, I should be seeing about 14 point something at a warm temperature, and you know, and I'm gonna use my my standard uh, alternator to do this test. I'm not running the risk of damaging my uh, my uh, uh, high output alternator. So again, these are two diodes. I'm gonna. Wire them up in parallel and hook them up.